Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of EV Comic Talk. It's Thursday, August 18th, and uh, Savage She Hulk number one dropped today. Uh, it sold out, uh, it's 20,000 mint. Uh, I did go for it, I ended up getting one common with a junk mint number. I haven't gone for a drop in a while, I just thought I'd gamble, and I gambled and I lost. So uh, let's get right to the market. Uh, the market is down today for the second day in a row. Uh, let's go to the spreadsheet. So today we have 38 comics up of the ones I'm watching, 76 down, 9 even. Uh, the comics have dropped below the average price again. Uh, for their 43 up, 80 down. Uh, let's look at the, if you click on the average tab, you can see what's been happening. So uh, when did the last report on Tuesday, the market turned up and the next two days uh, we, we moved down. So it was uh, a dead cat bounce and the dead cat has stopped bouncing. So let's look at the collectibles. The collectibles are not faring much better. We have 15 up, 36 down. Uh, the, key, the key things are uh, Vader, which you can see here uh, is slightly up since yesterday, but in general, uh, Vader and uh, Amazing Fantasy 15 are moving down. Uh, let's see the movers today. We don't have very many uh, moving up in double digits. There are only um, five comics in double digits. Uh, we had a big move in Fantastic Four Annual number three. Three, the ultra rare, it was uh, 1995 yesterday, and it moved up to 33.90 at the floor. Uh, nothing really interesting there, just about a lot of random movement. Uh, we have a lot of comics down double digit, which you can see here. The biggest movers down is, are again some random ones. Thor one, the uncommon, uh, jung jungle action six, Killmonger. Uh, I did uh, pick that one up so the market is moving uh, down again uh, I am making some buys uh, let's look at some of the things that I bought today I bought um, ASM 86 the rare the black widow uh, 1175 uh, I'm DCAing that uh, DCA is dollar cost average uh, and I actually uh, uh, reposted this the ASM Annual 16, uh, Monica Rambeau. I picked this one up uh, to lower my uh, mint number. Uh, same for the Kamala Khan, the point one number one. I picked up the Uncommon to lower my mint number. You can also see here, here's the one I picked up at the floor to uh, get into the rare for Jungle Action 6, Killmonger. And I did pick up two... Um, uh, Invisible Woman, Marvel Mighties, and um, I actually uh, reposted these. So let's talk about one of the uh, comics that I have been uh, flipping. So, and this would be uh, Marvel Spotlight number five, which is the first appearance of Ghost Rider. It's also the origin of Ghost Rider. Uh, I don't really remember if I. I used to have a number of these comics in in the real world. I don't. I have to check my box see if I have any more of these. Uh, the CGC nine eight. It's going for two hundred sixty four thousand in the real world, according to Comics Price Guide. And I have been. This is an A rank comic, uh, according to VV rank. I have been trading this uh, very regularly. So let's look at the price chart on. Uh, Marvel Spotlight. So I picked a number of them up. I picked eight of them up yesterday at the floor uh, at 1311, so somewhere around here. I staggered my sales up. Um, I think I sold four yesterday and I relisted some, but uh, there, uh, whoever posted them had a, a random mint numbers. They're all at the same price. So uh, 
I kept the lower mint numbers and I had a number of these uh, stacked away. So I kind of uh, am unloading my uh, higher mint numbers. I didn't make much on each sale, but you know, every gem counts except when I decide I'm going to gamble on She Hulk and I lose the profits that I just made over the last couple days. But uh, that's why it's called gambling, not investing. So, um, I again, as I've talked about in the previous videos, I am trading this range here on various comics, uh, ones that I don't mind holding on. And again, this is the A rank uh, Ghost Riders coming out uh, in in the uh, MCU again. So hopefully, we'll see these these highs again here. Uh, I doubt we're going to break above the resistance here at uh, the $21 level uh, in, in the near term. I think it's going to be years over, or we're going to have to see a massive influx of new users to break above, um, break out of this channel. The key thing to, to uh, look at is everything's pretty much trading the same. So if we break below the uh, support here on any of the comics, that's going to be incredibly bearish. So, so that's going to be some, something to watch. So again, this is just what I'm doing, how I'm looking at it. It's not investment advice. Let me know your thoughts in the comments um, um, below. Uh, again, I have a link to my spreadsheet in the description and i'll also have a link to this particular graph that we're talking about today in the description i am looking at again um dcing a number of the things that i want to um hold and uh, i continue to move my mint numbers lower so thanks for watching i hope this was helpful Happy collecting. Hope the cat, the dead cat bounces again. And we uh, test resistance. That would be amazing. Happy collecting and aloha.